Friends, on behalf of the J. Frank Norris Historical Society, I find myself compelled to continually dispute many erroneous and hearsay allegations concerning the trial of J. Frank Norris in 1927. Let me read for you what the New York Times had to say. Admittedly, the New York Times is secondhand information, and that's precisely the basis on which much of misinformation has been dispensed and why that there is so much misunderstanding about what happened in 1926. But I simply read for you the, an excerpt from the New York Times on page one. In January the 16th, 1927, at the date of the trial in Austin, Texas, and I quote, testifying for the defense today at the trial of the Reverend J. Frank Norris of Fort Worth, charged with murder of D.E. Chips, a Fort Worth lumber dealer, L.H. Nutt, spelled N-U-T-T, a trustee of Dr. Norris's church said, and underscore this portion, Mr. Nutt said that the pastor fired on chips after the latter had threatened to kill him and reached for his hip pocket. Friends, L.H. Nutt was the only eyewitness in the, in the system of the court procedure. An eyewitness carries an awful lot of weight, not hearsay allegations, especially from people who weren't even born at the time of this event. And I'll close this video by saying, in deference to that lone off-duty policeman who was the first to reach the fallen Chips, he claimed that Chips was unarmed. But let me underscore, this off-duty policeman was a friend of D.E. Chips. I would like to see evidence that he, that is, this off-duty policeman. I want to see evidence that he gave such a testimony in court at the time of the trial. I may be wrong, but I don't believe this man ever testified in court. If anyone listening can prove otherwise, please contact me, and I will correct any statement that I make. In closing, Jane Hartwell, whom I knew well, an elderly lady, the office manager, in charge of a number of people employed who were present at that day, was perhaps uh, as close as anyone to the event. And she claims, and I have it in my book, where she gave an affidavit report that she testified in court that she saw this man Chips, she saw the gun in his pocket. And friends, let's stick with the truth, and the truth will go marching on. Thank you. God bless each one. God bless the United States of America.